Having the right camera can completely transform your photos, and just because a camera is expensive and looks fancy, does not mean it's going to be a good photography camera. In this video, we break down the top 5 cameras for photography on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for the best camera for landscape photography, portrait photography, or anything in between, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which camera for photography will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Nikon D3500, our pick for best DSLR for beginners. The Nikon D3500 is a simplified camera with a helpful in-camera guide that makes it an ideal choice for beginners. The D3500 may be a few years old, but it remains at the top of the heap when it comes to DSLRs that are geared for beginners, and holds on to that title by nailing the basics in a way that few other cameras have managed to do. The D3500 will give you superb battery life that will provide enough power for up to 1,550 shots, great overall handling, and excellent value. It's also compatible with a huge range of native lenses that will suit almost anyone's shooting style. The 24.2 megapixel sensor delivers great detail and color, and the camera offers different shooting modes like landscape, special effects, photo illustration, selective color mode, and more. When you switch to video, you'll be able to capture 1080p video from 24 to 60 frames per second, or 720p at 50 to 60 frames per second. It's important to note that there is no 4K video option with the D3500. But if you're content with 1080p resolution, or just don't consider video all that crucial to what you're doing, the lack of 4K shouldn't bother you too much. The D3500's guide mode takes beginners through the process of creating effects, like a blurred background, for example. This is a great way for inexperienced shooters to understand manual settings and start building their confidence and knowledge. On the back of the camera, there's a 3-inch fixed display and an optical viewfinder so you don't have to rely solely on one or the other. For transferring images, Bluetooth works with Nikon's SnapBridge app that will let you transfer images to an external device and trigger the shutter remotely. The Nikon D3500 is a perfect choice for those new to photography. It's easy to use, takes solid pictures, has features and a guide mode that will assist you as you continue to learn and delivers excellent overall value. Next up, the Fujifilm X-T4, our pick for best travel camera for photography. If you want to capture the unbelievable sights that you'll experience while exploring the world, there's no better travel companion than the Fujifilm X-T4. Analog-style dials on the top plate handle ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. Paired with the aperture ring, you'll have all the key exposure controls at your fingertips. The X-T4 also has in-body image stabilization that both stills and video shooters will see as a huge benefit. The full metal body is weatherproof and solid as a rock. The battery boasts up to 600 shots in economy mode, plus you have the option of on-the-go charging using the USB-C port. Around the back, a 3-inch fully articulated LCD touchscreen can be flipped out to the side or rotated to be front-facing for selfie mode, which is particularly useful if you're shooting by yourself. Autofocus is handled by a 425-point hybrid system that is quick and reliable, and face and eye detection is accurate, even in low light. You'll also enjoy 15 frames per second continuous high mode when using the mechanical shutter. Recording at this speed onto the dual UHS-2 cards, you'll easily be able to capture 37 raw images in a burst, or 65 images in JPEG only. You'll be able to shoot Cinema 4K videos up to 60 frames per second with 10-bit internal recording for greater bit depth and deeper color. There's also HDMI out and F-Log and HLG profiles included. Slow motion full HD movies are also possible at up to 240 frames per second. So if you want to create some great effects in your travel videos, the X-T4 will definitely help you achieve that. The Fujifilm X-T4 is an attractive, robust camera that boasts unparalleled photo and video performance. And for a travel camera, it makes an excellent choice. The X-T4 ticks all of the boxes that matter the most and is two powerful cameras in one, both of which you'll have great fun using for many years to come. Next up, the Sony Alpha 7 III, our pick for best camera for landscape photography. The Sony Alpha 7 III is a full-frame camera that goes well beyond the basics and features, with an excellent sensor that offers great dynamic range, making it ideal for landscape photography. The Alpha 7 III has the same body as the Alpha A7R III, refined with a multi-selector joystick that greatly improves the handling of the camera and offers quicker autofocus point selection. Also new is a 24.2 megapixel full-frame sensor that's been retooled to feature a back-illuminated design that sees the sensitivity range greatly improved over the older model. The rear 3.0-inch tilt-angle display is touch-sensitive, enabling you to set the focus point and browse through images quickly. 
Also tweaked is the 5-axis in-body image stabilization system that now provides 5 stops of stabilization. For video capture, you'll be able to shoot in 2160p at 24 frames per second, and the full width of the sensor will be used. If you shoot at 30 frames per second, there's a 1.2 times crop of the sensor, and shooting at 1080p will allow frame rates of up to 120 frames per second. Like the Fujifilm X-T4, the Alpha A7 III stores files using dual SD cards, but Sony has configured them differently, with only one of the two card slots supporting faster UHS-2 cards. For image transfer, there's Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity. The Alpha 7 III could shoot continuously at 10 frames per second, with an impressive buffer capacity of 89 compressed RAW files or 40 uncompressed files, so the burst performance shouldn't leave many photographers wanting. And if you should ever need to shoot discreetly, you can switch to the electronic shutter and take advantage of its silent shooting mode with no compromise to overall performance. If you're looking for a camera that will help you take some great landscape shots, the Sony Alpha 7 III is the perfect choice. Sony has taken some of the best qualities from its flagship Alpha A9 and A7R 3 and distilled them into a single camera that offers a fantastic mix of performance, image quality, and price. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which products caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Canon EOS R6, our pick for best mirrorless camera for photography. The Canon EOS R6 is one of Canon's best mirrorless cameras and features best-in-class stabilization and autofocus performance, a full-frame image sensor, and a burst speed that makes it perfect for shooting sports or wildlife. A 20.1-megapixel full-frame sensor works in tandem with Canon's Digic X imaging processor, and while the sensor may be a bit short on resolution, the lower pixel count also means bigger pixels, which translates to better light sensitivity and a higher signal-to-noise ratio. At the end of the day, the EOS R6 still delivers excellent photo and video results that could rival Canon's more pro and more expensive models. The R6 can shoot bursts of 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter, and if that's not fast enough for you, you could switch to the electronic shutter and blaze through at 20 frames per second. Compose your shots using either the electronic viewfinder or use live view and frame your image using a 3-inch rear touchscreen. One of the most significant features of this camera is its in-body image stabilization. This 5-axis system gives you up to 8 stops of compensation when working in tandem with a stabilized lens, and the autofocus system has 6,072 user-selectable points, covering 100% of the frame. When it comes to video, though, things get a bit more limited. 4K 60fps capture is the best you can do here, and in UHD only. There's no DCI support for a more cinema-like look, but keeping it real, Canon really didn't design this camera for videography anyway. If you're looking for a mirrorless camera for stills photography, the Canon EOS R6 is a solid choice. The R6 might be a hybrid, but it's first and foremost a still shooter, so while the capability of shooting video is a great convenience, the focus here is on still photography. Finally, the Nikon D850, our pick for best DSLR camera for photography. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, sports, or nature, the Nikon D850 is one of the best DSLRs for photography. The 45.7-megapixel full-frame back-illuminated sensor offers a hefty increase in pixel count, allowing it to capture fine detail, and with the light-collecting elements being closer to the surface of the sensor, the D850 delivers excellent low-light performance, even at a continuous shooting speed of 9 frames per second. Like the Sony Alpha 7 III and the Canon EOS R6, the D850 has an electronic shutter option. With it, you'll be able to shoot up to 6 frames per second at full resolution, or 30 frames per second at 8 megapixels while remaining perfectly silent so you'll be able to shoot theatrical performances or during more serious ceremonies without disturbing anyone. The electronic shutter is also handy when shooting long exposure times to avoid any chance of camera shake. When shooting video, the DA50 utilizes the full width of the sensor to capture 4K UHD video and can even shoot 4 or 8K time-lapse clips and process them in camera. This camera is pretty light on power consumption too, so you can expect to get up to 1,840 shots from a full charge or up to 70 minutes of video. An electronic vibration reduction system helps reduce camera shake when shooting movies handheld, and ports to add an external microphone or headphones for audio monitoring are in place. To transfer your images from the camera to another device, the DA50 uses Nikon SnapBridge connectivity and Bluetooth, and gives you the option to transfer images as you shoot, which is a great convenience. If you're looking for the best DSLR for general photography, the Nikon DA50 is the perfect choice. It's packed with photographic features and backs these up with impressive performance, stunning image quality, and great battery life. 
If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.